In this video we're going to quickly talk about arming the Nazi 32. I've just um, been playing with it and I've seen on the forums that some people are having a bit of a trouble with it. So I just want to show you what arming looks like and what you need to check if it's not working. So uh, here we have the Nazi 32 with just the single blue light on waiting to be told what to do next. We also have um, another camera covering my remote control that's connected to the board and then finally in the middle we have the screen shot of the um, netbook that's actually connected to the board at the same time as everything else. So first of all, we just need to double check if you're having trouble arming that all of your sticks are working properly. And the easy way to do that is go into receiver and then double check that one, just make sure that all the midpoints of all the sticks and the movement of the sticks, it all settles as close to 1500 as possible. That's just good practice. Make sure that each of the sticks behave in this way. So the throttle is high when it's up and low when it's down. This is obviously a Mo2 radio, so the throttle's on this side. That the rudder is low when it goes to the left, high when it goes to the right. That the elevator is high when it goes forward and low when it goes back. And that the aileron is low when it goes left and high when it goes back. You need to double check that all of those are working properly because to arm the board, and I'll arm it now, all you do is you hold the throttle stick. So this is a mode 2 radio. The throttle's here. If it's mode 1, your throttle's going to be over on the other side. We hold it to the right-hand side, and you'll see the green armed light come on very quickly on the Nase 32. So there we have the green light. So now the uh, multicopter is live and waiting for me. If I don't do anything in three or four seconds, it turns off. So again, all you do to arm it is you press and hold the throttle stick to the right and it's armed the other way, disarms it. So arm, disarm. Now, the most common problem that you'll find if you can't arm the board and get that green light on is that the end points and not wide enough. And this is the thing that I had to do when I first flew the board. I had to extend my throttle so that it was um, a couple of additional points. So what I did, I went into the settings and I increased the end point of the throttle, the lower end point, by a couple of percent, up to 102%. And what I found is that my throttle had to go below 1100 for the board to arm, and it had to go below 1100 and above 1900 for the board to arm. So, if you can't get it to arm, connect your remote control to the model, connect your model to the clean flight configurator, and then in clean flight configurator, what I'd like you to do is just double check that your throttle goes below 1100 and your rudder, when it goes left and right, goes below 1100, but also above 1900 as well and if you have those two things then the board should arm thanks for watching hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have the nase 32 and are struggling if you have any comments or questions please pop them in the detail below if you're interested there is a series on the nase 32 on the channel that i'm doing some much more in-depth videos that go into much more detail on this board um, so thanks for watching please like subscribe and as always, happy flying.